Hello, we are going to practice our final day of rounding. So you should be getting pretty good at this by now, going through the steps to find the nearest place value that they are asking you to round to. So we're just going to do a couple of examples. And remember our rules. Find your place value, look next door, then say the saying, four and below, stay down low, five and above, give it a shove. And then all digits after become a zero. If there's a digit in front, what we learned yesterday is it stays the same. So we're going to practice just four here before you're going to meet me for our Zoom and then do some independent work. So first we're going to have round to the nearest tens. We're going to start with this 41 here. First thing I do is find the place value. We are rounding to the tens. Ones, tens. Next I go to my neighbor. Knock, knock, knock. The four is going to go to the one. And the one, let's say the same. Four and below, stay down low. Five and above, give it a shove. Well, this one is definitely four or below. So it's telling the four to stay down low. So this four will stay a four. Everything after it becomes a zero. So the one becomes a zero. That means that this rounds to 40. Awesome. We're going to do 368, also rounding to the nearest tens. So for this one, I'm going to find this place value tens. Ones, tens. The six is in the tens place value. It's going to go backwards to its neighbor, knock, 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 the eight. Four and below. Stay down low. Five and above, give it a shove. This eight neighbor is, is five or above, so it's telling the six to give it a shove. That means this six will get pushed up just one more. What's one more than six? Seven. So I'm going to set it up first. This is a three digit number, it goes to the hundreds. So my answer is also going to be three digits. I just rounded to the nearest tens and we said the eight told the six to give it a shove and become a seven. So I'm going to put that in the tens place value. Everything after the underlined digit becomes a zero. There's one digit after the underline that becomes a zero. Now everything in front of the underlined digit stays the same. So this 3 will stay at 3. That means 368 rounded to the nearest 100 or tens is 370. Amazing. Let's go ahead and round to the nearest 100 for 2. 224. First thing I do is find my place value. We're rounding to the hundreds, so I'll underline the hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds. Now, that hundreds is going to go knock, knock, knock to its neighbor. The two is going to say four and below, stay down low, five and above, give it a shove. Two is four below, so it's telling this two to stay down low. So in my hundreds, I'm going to have a two. It stays. Everything after the underlined digit becomes a zero. So that means there are two digits after two zeros. 224 rounded to the nearest hundred is 200. Last one. 1,374. Hmm. I'm going to round to the nearest hundreds. First, let's underline the hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds. Next, that hundreds is going to go knock, knock, knock on its neighbor's door. Seven. Four and below, stay down low. Five and above, give it a shove. The seven is five and above. So we're going to, it's telling the three to give it a shove. The three gets pushed up just one digit. That means that the three will become a four. We got to make sure that we set up our answer correctly though. There are going to be four digits. Ones, 
we just said the three is getting shucked and becoming a four. So I'll put that in the hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds. Everything after the underlined digit becomes a zero. So that means the seven and the four, both zeros. Anything in front of the underlined digit or will stay the same. So the one will stay a one. Since this is in the thousands, I don't want to forget my comma there. And 1,374 rounded to the nearest hundred is 1,400. We are going to meet, practice some more rounding before you do it on your own. And I hope by now you're starting to really catch on to rounding.